how much input do you need to become fluent in a foreign language? How much do you need to read? People keep asking me about science. This is all scientific. We need science. We want science, research, blah, blah, blah. OK, let's look at some science. Uh, this is, well, you can check it out yourself. You can read it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But the interesting part basically is um, 9,000 words is more or less, 9,000 lemons is more or less what you need to know to be fluent in a foreign language, more or less, right? Depends on the language, depends on the person. Yeah. But um, it's an approximate number. And um, this paper assumes that you need to, again, and also this also depends on, th this is the problem with science. This, there are some assumptions there, but it assumes that you need around 12 repetitions. See the same word 12 times in context to actually remember it. Again, it will really depend on the person. Some people, I've coached some people, absolute geniuses. They could read something and remember all the vocab. First time. Um, some others will never remember anything. But uh, anyway. Uh, so here it assumes that you need around, on average, 12 repetitions of the same word. Uh, so you, where well, we go to the interesting part, which is, we go directly there, um, right here. So this is more or less what you need in order to learn 9,000 words. This is the amount of reading that you need to do. Uh, let me tell you, this is a lot of reading. This is, uh, it assumes that you already know a thousand words, which is quite a lot already. And then you need around 200,000 words of reading, which is a big book, I would say. Maybe two, two big books, maybe. Like, it really depends on the size. Or maybe even three books, if the books are simple. Or even more. Like, uh, yeah, three books, I would say. Uh, but yeah, it's, that's... Only for so you need two or three books to, or maybe one, a really big one to get to to learn another thousand words. And then the problem is that frequency drops drastically after the first couple thousand words. So you need more and more reading to acquire more vocab. Yeah, because the less frequent the words are, well you'll see them less often, which means more reading needed to see them again, which means a lot more reading needed. And to learn 9,000 words, according to this study, you need around, and again, this depends on, uh, there are many factors, right? But to learn 9,000 words, you need 3 million words of reading. That's between 20 and 40 good books i would say again really depends on the on how big the books are but if they're big books and it's fewer books but it's a harder read a uh, longer read uh i don't really know what time needed uh, for reading per week per day the reading speed is this in a year can you read three million words in a year if you read at normal speed Eight hours a day. Yeah, I guess you can. I guess it's in a year. Does it say anything anywhere? Uh, it should. But more than this, focus on the amount of words and how many how many books that is. It's a lot of books, 20, 30, 40 books that you need to get to 9,000 uh, words. And I'm not against reading. I love reading. I do a lot of reading. I, I've read hundreds of books in, actually, I've read more books in foreign languages than in my own language. But, uh, and it does help, but this is not efficient at all. It's hundreds, it, no, thousands of hours of reading to, to get there that you need. And instead, you know, you could learn, it really depends how good of a memorizer you are, but if you learn to associate, you can 
learn a thousand words in a week with associations. And it doesn't mean you remember all of them, but if you're getting some uh, listening input, you, you'll keep hearing those words in context and you'll remember, remember them pretty easily. And you can also review the list, right? A thousand words, you can re review that in, in a few minutes uh, if you know most of them already. So if you can memorize a hundred words a day, and it, this is pretty easy to achieve with uh, associations. If you train memoric associations and you you practice daily, you can get to a hundred words a day very quickly. Um, 150 or like two, 250 as well, it's very doable. In an hour, an hour, an hour uh, or two a day, you can, with an hour or two a day, not to talk about eight hours a day. If you're doing eight hours a day of mnemonic, maybe you'll just die if you do that because it's much more intensive, right? You'll just burn out. But I mean, mnemonic associations can be fun as well. Like I'm having a lot of fun memorizing Japanese, not so much with Hindi and Korean, but. Um, Japanese is fun for some reason. It really depends on the language. But if you are creative and you make fun mental images, it's not that hard to do. It's not like sitting down and, and reading some like really dense thing. Mnemonic associations can be fun if you don't put pressure on yourself. If you are trying to get to a certain number and you're like punishing yourself, or like, I should be memorizing a thousand words today. Or not. No, but if you like memorize 30 and or oh, 20, it doesn't matter. You just like, get some practice and, and have fun with it. You can memorize way more than this, much, much more quickly. Uh, so, reading is good. I love reading. I do a lot of reading. Uh, my house is full of books in English, German, Romanian, French, a lot of French actually. And I, I need to make a video about how I didn't get fluent by reading in French. I live, I live near the French border and I've, I've read probably three digit numbers of books in uh, a three digit number of books in French already. And um, I can read really fast in French and I really enjoy reading in French. I didn't get fluent by breathing. Uh, yeah, so input, really good, but it shouldn't be the only thing you do. And it's very slow, ineffective, uh, inefficient. It's effective, but not efficient. Let's call it that. It's effective, it works, but it just takes ages. And if you want results quickly, you want to understand the language better quickly, uh, then use associations. Also, because if you memorize two, three, four thousand words with lists and, uh, and uh, space repetition, like reviewing occasionally, you'll be able to uh, read much better and much faster because you know a lot more vocab already. So then getting here will be much easier. Yeah. Anyway, enough for today. Enough about input. Uh, see you tomorrow.